Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with my guinea pig marshmallow. This is Marshmallow. She is my Peruvian long haired guinea pig. And today we're going to be grooming and bathing her. So this is what she looks like right now. It's been probably like three to four months since I've groomed and bathed her, which is longer than I like to do it. I usually like to only go like two or so months, two to three. So it's been a bit longer than it probably should have been. So today we're gonna be grooming her. I'm gonna show you guys the entire process and also fair warning, Marshmallow, she is a biter. So she will bite me if she doesn't like the way that I'm grooming her. I'm always very calm, always very patient with her, you know, but unfortunately she just does not like being touched, especially on her back end, which is very, very common for guinea pigs. They don't like being touched on their rear usually, but because that is where she has like pee stains in her fur, obviously I have to do it. So I just do it, you know, as little as I can get away with while still trying to keep her as clean as possible while also causing her as little stress as possible. So it's like a very thin line that I have to walk. And since she is white, the pee stains on her fur are very noticeable for any of those out there who own Peruvians or longer haired guinea pigs. You know that they get pee on their fur just the way that it happens. So I will show you guys what her back end looks like right now. So you can see there is quite a bit of pee back there. So we're gonna be cutting all of that off. I do the trim prior to the back, just so there's less hair to dry at the end of the back. So I do trim first with um, a pet like razor. This has a safeguard on it and I have multiple lengths so I can trim her hair to different lengths. Today we'll be going for like the sort of Abyssinian length, like not Peruvian look because I like to do it shorter so that it will grow out and last longer before I have to trim her again. And then I also have here, I just picked this up at the CVS. Um, it's a mustache styling kit for men. I was just looking for some hair cutting, like grooming scissors and I found these. I like them because the handle is so close, like the scissors are really tiny. So I figured when I'm going back and having to cut around her butt and her legs, I'll feel like I have more control over the scissors and I won't feel as like stressed about making sure I don't nick her. I'm gonna show you guys just the whole process. Let me get her in frame here. Here is my baby girl. She is about three to four years old and I've had her since she was a little baby. So despite doing these trims, like for her whole life, she still hates them. Um, as you can see, her hair doesn't really grow in any sort of natural pattern. It's just a lot. So we're just gonna start, I think, by cutting like big chunks off because if I took the razor to this, I'm not sure I'd be able to handle it. And I used to give her veggies when I trimmed, but eventually the veggies would just get covered in hair and then she wouldn't want to eat them anyway. So I will be not doing that right now. I might give her treats throughout the process, but I stopped doing the veggies just because they got like so gross and hairy. Let's do some pellets real quick. Everybody else is gonna be going crazy behind me. There they are. These are my little baby scissors. They're literally so cute. I haven't used baby ones. So the issue here is that she has so much hair. So as I'm like trying to cut through it, it will pull and she will jerk around. So that is why I switched to using the razor for the majority of the time, because if she moves at all while I'm trying to cut, it pulls and she doesn't like that. So let's try the razor. Let's see if this is a better to start off with. It's been a while since her fur has been this long. Currently I have the 12 millimeter guard on. I find that she's a nice length with that. I've used the other guards too, but 12 is a good length where she still looks fluffy uh, without like it looking like this. And the noise does not bother her with the razor. Um, it's more so just the pulling. She like just touching, she didn't like that. Um, she is eating her pellets, this is good right now. But if you have a second person to help you hold your guinea pig while you're doing this, it's definitely helpful. I have done that before, but I'm gonna try and do it by myself today. I have done it by myself plenty in the past. I know, baby. Why don't we start up front?
right here is some pea stained fur so you can see at the ends, she's got that pea there it's like clustered up so that is what we want to get rid of okay she didn't like that it's okay baby there we go we got it off just a lot of patience with her since she dislikes the process so much it's okay baby look at the end you're gonna get so many treats okay just attempted to bite me um, unsuccessfully but that was a little warning so I'm gonna give her a little break All right, so now that we've gotten like the big amount off the top and it's getting shorter, I will say the razor's getting easier because her hair now is like going in one direction. So it's pulling less. So it's getting a little bit easier to trim her. My goal is to get her pretty short. So we're just gonna keep going until I'm like satisfied with it. What? She is mad at me. everyone this is the sink that I will be working in please ignore any um, echo from my bathroom but normally I put a towel in the bottom of the sink just to kind of make them feel more comfortable so they're not slipping and sliding I could not find a small hand towel so I'm just gonna use a pee pad today I honestly think it will be fine it basically serves the same function of them not slipping and sliding and I want to make sure that the water is like a lukewarm temperature so just kind of like old bath water. And let me grab the shampoo I'm using. I'm gonna be using the Mike and Ozzel shampoo. This is an anti-fungal shampoo. Obviously she does not currently have a fungal infection. So I will not be doing like the sitting for five minutes on the skin, which is what they recommend for fungal infections. I'm just using this to clean her. So I won't be doing that because she does not want to sit wet. And then at the end, we will be drying her and blow drying her. And I'll show you how I do that. So let's get this water to the right temperature. All right, I think this is about good. I'm just gonna grab her. Got our shampoo on hand and let's do this. So when I give her a bath, I really only do the back end just because that's the end where she really needs it. And you don't wanna put them completely on their back 
but you do kind of want to hold them here and support them to get their butt. It's okay, baby. I know, I know. Oh, she just pooped in the sink. I'm gonna get that out. Okay, she pooped multiple times. Oh God, that's gross, okay. Ugh. I don't want that to be all up in there getting mushed around. All right, so now I feel she's like sufficiently wet. So I'm just gonna get a little bit cause she's so small. Go. And she just tried to bite me. It's okay, baby. It's okay. And I'm gonna really work on the pea staining back here in these areas that I know are dirty as she nibbles on my arm. I know. It's okay. It's okay, baby. I know, I know. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, love. And you do wanna make sure you definitely get all of the soap out because if you don't, it can leave them feeling like very itchy. I think we're almost good. Yeah, this, I feel like no more soap here. Let me just make sure we've got the underneath. Now I'm gonna grab a towel for her and we will get to drying her. Look at my little bundle. Oh, she's so cute. And she hates me so much for this. It's okay. All right, so I've got her here. And then I've got my blow dryer. This blow dryer does um, hot, warm, and cool, and high and low. So I usually do it on low, and then I switch between warm and cool, and I always have my hand near her to make sure that I can also feel the temperature of the air, and so I know that it's not too hot for her or not too cold for her. And you wanna make sure that they are like 90% dry before you put them back in the cage because they like will not dry on their own very well, especially when you keep them indoors, there's no sun to help them dry. So, so you wanna make sure they're completely dry before you, they go in the cage, because you don't want them to get cold or anything and like their body shut down because of that. So here's my little wet, my little wet rat baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna just start blow drying her. She also hates this, so she will be biting the towel like that, definitely. So I have it on warm right now. And as you can see, I'm constantly moving it back and forth. So you don't wanna stay on one spot too long cause that can get, like their skin can get too hot. So I'm just gonna be moving it back and forth. You can see she's kind of quivering right now. So it's probably cold. So we want to get her pretty dry as soon as possible. And then I also take this as like a good opportunity to cut off any of those pea pieces that didn't wash out and that I couldn't get earlier. And there are some that will just like all the way down to the skin that didn't wash completely out. And I'll just get those as short as possible. Since she is white, it's basically impossible to have her stay purely white. Go back to blow drying love. Yeah, let's blow dry more. Ow! Okay, she bit me pretty hard there. I know, it's okay. I know you don't like it, it's okay. All right guys, I'm gonna call it quits there. She is like, pretty much dry. There's a little bit still around her legs, but overall, I would definitely say she's like 90% there. I know, I know you're so upset. But we're gonna free her from this terrible treatment and put her back. I'm gonna show you guys what she looks like. The haircut's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, but usually in like a week or two, it'll grow out a little bit fluffier and she'll look a little bit better than she does right now. But as always, the goal is to just get it as short as possible so it'll last as long as possible. Here she is, my baby, all groomed, short, and definitely plotting my downfall. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, as always, every guinea pig is going to be different. She is just definitely a biter, so I try to do things as infrequently as possible. 
Um, but thank you for watching and like and comment if you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye.